The best part of waking up is Tiger Uppercut. Dude, <laughs> my homie used to sing that when we used to work at Sony when we were in QA. He was an avid street fighter, yeah, and then he turned that Folger song into a Tiger Uppercut song. Um, and by wake up, he means like you're doing it after you got like knocked down uh, before your character is actually even standing up. It's like a fighting term and stuff, um, if you guys aren't familiar with it. Uh, but what's up, friends? In this video, we're going to be hooking up Mr. Chase with one Ironworks from the Botrop set, and we're going to give him like an Ultra Chase and uh, Grapple Mode kind of so we can um, hunt down the baddies. I'm going to start taking this dude apart. Um, also, I created a, a, a jingle, not the Tiger Uppercut jingle, but a jingle for Chase uh, with this guy combined that I shared on the short. Uh, you may or may not have heard it, but if you haven't, here it is. Hey, give him some space to operate. Sergeant Chase, the operative, on a race to solve the case. For the trace evaporates on a course, eradicates. Evil forces best abdicate. In a morgue, you'll find your fate. I implore you, vanish. Hey. All right, it should be done by now. <laughs> I don't remember how long it was, so I just stayed quiet for a little bit, but uh, we'll see how that worked out. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, dude, I'm not great at editing. I'm still learning. Like, everything is a, just a process, and uh, and it's fun, dude, and I make tons of mistakes, you know? But learning what doesn't work helps you learn what does work, you know? And so I pay a lot of attention to the YouTube analytics um, as well because I'm always in the refinement process of build, measure, learn. You build stuff, you create something, you measure, you look at the analytics, see how it did, and then you learn from those results, and then you incorporate that learning the next time you build something, and hopefully it turns out better, you know? It's kind of like the ethos of uh, product management, and um, yeah, fun times. Things that I learned as a product manager. Yeah, I would say actually my, um, oh, before I do all of that, dude, my bad, dude. I just always just jump into these things without like properly saying hi to you guys and stuff. And actually, in in um, half of my culture, half meaning like the Korean part of it, uh, I'm not half Korean, but but um, culturally, I'm Korean American, so that's why I say like half. In Korea, dude, it's like, dude, exchanging pleasantries and greetings is a very, very, very important thing, uh, part of like cultural norms and things like that. And um, yeah, I just want to make sure that I say hi to y'all. I think it's respectful too, you know. Um, you guys made it all the way here. You clicked on the thumbnail and you're watching this video and I can't even stop to say hi to you guys. That's just rude, you know. So I just want to say again, yeah, hi to everyone. I really appreciate you being here, okay? It really makes my day, really helps me. Um, and like the channel is one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me in my adult life. And um, I'm very, very grateful for all of you and everything that's been going on. So thank you again, okay? Over here is the Ironworks arm and you can see I equipped one of the sirens on there. Um, I think it's a siren, right? And normally the arm would be like this, but considering the color pairing, we're going to put it upside down. Functionally, I don't necessarily like it, but color-wise, woo, that pops, baby. I really like that a lot. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. I love his little, little wing things that pop up over here, dude. Yeah, I, I'm a real, real big fan of this toy. And not only for the transformation, like if you look at his face, I know some people don't like that mask. Dude, it reminds me of Mazinger, dude. It reminds me of, like, Gonagai and, like, Shogun Warrior, like, old school stuff. And uh, just a really, really big fan of this toy. I think it turned out phenomenal. And, um, yeah, very happy. Very, very, very happy. Um, I think we had that, like, here. And so he's going to chase down the baddies and, you know, grapple them or, you know, pinch them or... <laughs> For not wearing green, I don't know, dude. Uh, but, but yeah, that's that's the whole motif behind this one. That he is some long arm of the law type guy. Um, and there's a couple of cool things that we do with the backpack too. Just gotta remember how I did everything. I think I had that like that. This might be a pretty fast video, and this fit is loose, so. You may need un piece of papel. And that is from uh, this thing. You know, that thing that comes with uh, your instructions. And then we have that back panel plugged into the posts like that. And then we kind of close that up. And I remember this being really loose. Oh. Maybe it's not. Okay. It's not that bad. And then so, what's kind of interesting is that we pop this up. This was the loose fit. That's right. It's extremely loose. 
I could put a piece. I could have put a pick, 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 yeah. Could have. I could put a piece of paper there, but you know what? This is kind of loose too. Actually, I kind of want to beef it up. The the reason why I'm beefing all of this up is I want to show you that he has a battle mask. Um, I'll start with the top piece first. The best part of waking up is Tiger Uppercut. <laughs> People are so funny and humorous and creative and. It's one of the great things about being human, being able to communicate and express one's thoughts, emotions, and creativity and share with others. Sharing. Yeah, that's so cool. It's a part of who we are as communal beasts, you know. Um, let me get them all in the shot. All right, so we have him over here like this, right? And so if he's if Officer Chase is taking, like, way too much fire, he can bring this down and just, like... Ooh, look at that. His face is covered by that red bit, and then his chest is covered. I mean, his arms and limbs might still get blown off. <laughs> but at least the core parts, his chest and his face is kind of um, blocked off. I think that's kind of cool, man. Was it intentional? No, it wasn't, dude. It just kind of happened like that. I made it to be like a scoopy thing so that he can, like, again, catch the baddies because that's the whole theme going on with this look. But after I kind of saw that and just the way it extended over the face and, and um, chest, I'm like, yo, that's canon, dude. That's going to be how it looks. Uh, so pretty cool. Pretty cool, 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 cool. And it's that extra body armor. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to put this here, I wonder if he can grip it in his hand. Uh, there's not a lot of clearance. Yeah. Not a lot of clearance, Clarence. What's the vector, Victor? Um, you guys know that. I've mentioned on videos before. It's uh, Airplane. In the movie airplane all right that's all we got friends thank you so much for joining me thank you uh for dealing and uh, putting up with my um, incessant rambling and jumping all over the place that's how my mind works that it is goes berserk and i'm um, trying to be a nice dude and not be a jerk i'm trying to get my uh brain going coffee gives me perk and uh all right that's all i got <laughs> see you friends bye